What's up, Sparkman family? It's your boy Sparkman, and I got you with another market watch today. We have cards spiking in price, we have cards being bought out in the market, and it's causing cards like Shine Sarcophagus to start increasing in price. Now, it was once at $9, not anymore, everybody. $17 now, so it's definitely gone up in price a lot. But we have someone to decide to buy one for $43. So, you know, we are trying to seek help for that person. We're sending the ambulance to you. We're not sure what's going on at your house. Why are you buying a phone for $43? I'm not sure if you got this one mistaken for the core energy career or what's going on. But, um, yeah, definitely don't buy one for tri almost triple its price, everybody. I wouldn't do that. Um, but Cars Like Chance Coffee is, is going up in the market. And it's also increasing the price of future silence as well. Again, with once that four or $5. No, not anymore. The cheapest copy you can get here is $20. Someone bought one today for nine seven dollars, but uh, yeah, that's not the price anymore It's definitely increased and uh, it's been bought out to a point where now you can only buy one for an expensive copy um, So be aware that there are cars being bought out and they're being bought out pretty fast uh, this week, especially uh, Cards like crystal clear wing synchro dragon is also another card being bought out a set like letter and dual storm secret storm That didn't do so well on release and even aftermarket Well now we have cards that are starting to succeed in that uh, set like this card and uh, well it was pretty much bought out for the most part to a point where now the only cheapest copy is 20 bucks but then if that one's bought out the next cheapest one is going to be 30 dollars so that's pretty insane and there's only 15 listings left so uh it's going down pretty low um but why buy the ultra copy when you can get the ghost for a copy for only 23 dollars everybody so um yeah get the rarity bump buy yourself the ghost rare. i would definitely take that over the ultra rare, obviously uh, but if you like the ultra rare, uh be my guest you know you know i, I don't judge you but again the ghost rare is probably the better copy to pick up in my opinion um but yeah this card is going on price but if you want to get yourself a cheaper i say cheaper copy um i would go with the ghost for a copy now a card like pulling the rug is also going up the last reprint it got was in ots tournament pack 23 but you can see it's starting to increase as well this card was at two three dollars nope not anymore five dollars basically it's a great effect too when a monster effect is activated that activates when a monster is normal summon negate the activation and if you do destroy that monster so Another great card in the tournament packs that uh, sometimes are overlooked, so that's why it's good to hold on to those super rares instead of throwing them away. Um, but yeah, pulling the rug, great card, going on price. Be on the lookout for this one, it's starting to increase even further. Um, we have your Apollosa Bow of the Goddess for a very cheap amount. I mean, this is insane. Near Mint for 28 for Apollosa. It's a card that is very much used in today's meta, in today's game. And same with IP Mascarina, a very cheap price for once it once was at. Um, and like we take a look at this, $115. I mean, now you're the cheapest copy, like 35 bucks, which is insane to me. Um, but people are scared that these cards are getting banned on the ban list coming up in August. Don't be afraid of those things. I would buy into it just because, well, if it doesn't, guess what? These cards are going to spike in price much, much heavily than it is now. Like, it's going to be insane how much these cards go up because of the fear that people have that these cards are going to be touched on the ban list. Um, and then also, cards like cross Out Designator from this very collection number two is also going to go up in price. I do see a lot of these cards going up in price because also we have Bonanza set being probably our last Core Century Secret Rare set. And, uh, well... It's only destined to for some of these core centric secrets to succeed because they're so user meta, because they're fan favorites, because they're waifus, because again they're collector collector pieces. So you know, just be aware of all those uh, you know things because I do believe that there are certain places for certain cards in this set to start increasing in price, and then you're going to be you know faulting yourself for not picking them up earlier. Um, so you know, just be aware of that as well. We have fan of Ubel. Well, Ubel did pretty well, I would say, fairly well um, at the Nats. Uh, you know tournament uh, we had nine decks that placed on top 64 for you bell um i would say these cards are going to start going up uh we have a little, little spike not too much just a little tiny spike we were this was at like 45 46 dollars um yes i see one copy for 47 but the next one is 51 so we're seeing that steady little increase people buying 153 52 so steady increases so just be aware of that as well that we are seeing a little move in the market with fan of you bell um i do think it will go you know go up over time but uh just give it some time but if you are uh, trying to buy it i would say buy it now to be honest uh, we also are covering this because i do believe this is a good one to cover especially since speed is coming to an end i think this one is going to start increasing in price and talk about increase i saw this for 21 dollars only yesterday so yeah 21 now the cheapest one is 25 wow so bought out almost immediately um wow Okay, 15 listings left, and uh, 
yeah guys i'm not gonna lie to you this is one of the better speed duel sets so the fact that it was at 21 dollars yesterday that's pretty insane so it definitely got bought out right away and people were aware of that um again amazing secret rare copies and the secret rare touch to these uh speed duel cards are amazing i mean you have dark magician girl dark magician you have the you know the alternate art of dark magician in this one as well which uh, right here so i mean very very amazing uh, og type s cards in this one um that's going to you know raise this seal value over time in my opinion so just be aware of that oh silhouette rabbit i think that's how you say this in the name but uh this one is going to be spiking the market over time just be aware of this card going up in price i think a lot of people are overlooking this i know there's a lot of listings i know there's uh, a lot of people are saying oh we don't know but uh, you know a lot of the infant forbidden cards are being overlooked and this is definitely one of them as well so be aware of that be aware of fiend smith engraver going to start increasing your price you know i know it's at 96 it's been going down but i don't believe this one's going to go down too much further i mean it's it's weird to say that because i again you know when we look at a card like fiend smith engraver and fiend smith doing well at nats and you know making an impact it's weird to say that this card's going to go down further when it's making such a big move in the meta right so um yes there are copies that you can buy for you know basically 93 but then you spend five dollars for shipping so basically the 96 98 99 dollar range so you know just be aware that yeah i you know i'm saying this now buy while you can because I, you know i know a lot of people are saying it's going to go down to 80 85 but it's it'll be very weird to see it go down to that price point since it's being very much used um and you know it's succeeding in the current meta same with dominus purge a lot of people are talking about this card being a very much insane value um, in the next couple weeks because right now it's holding a very cheap price point, but I don't think it's going to be there for too much longer. So just be aware of that as well. Um, Gravekeeper Inscription. I want to look at this card because, yes, this one is one of the cards that I do believe that is being also overlooked in the current game. And I do see this one being, well very much going to go up in price over time as well so um just be aware of these things because i do believe some of these cards like i said being overlooked and just underappreciated for the most part um we also have forbidden droplet well the cheapest copy you can get forbidden droplet right now um is going to be three four dollars so uh, a lot of these copies starting to go up from the actual you know rarity collection that we saw come out the first one um a lot of these cards are going to go up because again they're going to be used a lot and uh we're not sure when they're getting the reprint again and people also didn't take it seriously by getting their copy early so now they're starting to increase so you know just be aware of that um the last card i wanted to cover is kaios the shadow monarch the ultimate rare um everybody i'm not sure if you realize this but now the cheapest copy for a near mint copy is 994 dollars um yeah that's pretty wild i mean near mint unlimited were selling basically around 674 one person got lucky for 500 but um yeah now the cheapest copy with only one two three four five near mint listings uh yeah above 950 dollars 990 dollars i should say so insane so be aware of a lot of these ultimate rares going up in value you know people like playing their goat format and all these other format formats so you're starting to see these cards start to increase in price because obviously they want to do the high tech you know look and feel to these cards when they're playing so you know it's no surprise there it's also a collection piece as well so um there's a lot of things going for caius and uh, now there's even more things going for caius with that price point so um yeah but that's about it for this market watch i hope you enjoyed uh please go and comment and peace out youtube